Hello, I'm Dr. Steve Warner, and today I'm going to talk about logarithms. The word logarithm just means exponent. For example, in the exponential equation, 8 equals 2 to the third power, the logarithm is 3. Again, the logarithm is just the exponent the power. It's 3. The number 2 in that expression is called the base. That equation could be read 3 is the logarithm of 8 when we use a base of 2. 3 is the logarithm of 8 when we use a base of 2. So in logarithmic form, the logarithm or the exponent goes by itself. The base goes as a subscript and the other number, the 8, is inside of the logarithm. More generally, these two equations are equivalent. y equals a to the x is the exponential form of the equation and the equivalent logarithmic form is x equals log base a of y. Notice in the logarithmic form that the exponent x is by itself and the base a is a subscript. Another way to think about it is you take the base a and you raise it to the exponent x to get the value y. Let's look at an example. Express 1 25th equals 5 to the minus 2 in logarithmic form. Well, the logarithm or the exponent is negative 2. That goes by itself in logarithmic form log, the base is 5, and the number that's left is 1 25th. Let's go the other way. Let's express 1 half equals log base 4 of 2 in exponential form. Well, the base is 4, the logarithm, or the exponent, is 1 half, and the other number is 2. What is the value of log base 4 of 64? Okay, so let's just change that to an equation. y equals log base 4 of 64. And now let's change from logarithmic form to exponential form. We take the base and raise it to the exponent. The base is 4, the logarithm or exponent is y, and we set that equal to 64. Okay, now we just use some facts about exponential equations to finish solving this. 4 and 64 have a common base of 4. We can rewrite 64 as 4 to the third power. Now since the bases are the same, so are the exponents. So the answer is that log base 4 is 64 is equal to 3, choice A. Let's quickly go over some basic laws of logarithms. So first we have log base B of 1 is equal to 0. This follows from the fact that the base B to the exponent of 0 is 1. Anything to the 0 power is 1. Log base b of b equals 1 because b to the 1 is equal to b. And now we have some really useful logarithmic rules that correspond to various exponential rules. When you add two separate logarithms with the same base, you can rewrite that as a single logarithm and a product inside. 
the difference of two logarithms becomes a quotient. And when you have log base b of x to the n, you could bring the exponent out in front to get n log base b of x. Okay, let's look at a couple of examples. In the equation log base 4 of 2 plus log base 4 of 8 equals log base 6 of x squared, what is the positive real value of x? Well, we could use a rule of logarithms to combine the two logarithms on the left-hand side of the equation as log base 4 of 16. Notice that I'm multiplying 2 and 8 together because the sum of two logarithms is the product under a single logarithm. Now, what is log base 4 of 16? Well, the question is 4 to what power is 16? Well, 4 squared is 16. So we have log base 4 of 16 is equal to 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and change this last expression to exponential form. The base is 6, the exponent is 2, and that is equal to x squared. So x is actually equal to plus or minus 6, but we're being asked for the positive real value of x, so we just take 6, choice A. One more example. Whenever b is an integer greater than 1, log base b of b squared over b to the seventh is, well, we could simply start by dividing b squared by b to the seventh, we use the law of exponents that says when you divide two expressions with the same base, you subtract the exponents. 2 minus 7 is negative 5. We now use that last rule of logarithms to bring the negative 5 out in front. And finally, log base b of b is equal to 1. Negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. That's choice A.